Good evening. I'm Brandon Bennett, and I'm your Director of Public Health and your Health Officer. Tonight, uh, we've given the mayor a, a much needed rest, um, and we think that uh, we should remind all of you at the same time uh, that uh, you also need to take care of yourself and take care of your family. Uh, make sure that you are getting the rest that you need, that you're not overstressing on uh, this event that we're facing right now, uh, but make sure that you remain armed with the information necessary to reduce your risk. And so today, um, while well, we're going we're gonna to lighten up the message a little bit, uh, bring in the director of the Fort Worth uh, Library System, uh, I wanted to make sure that, that we also dispel some of the, the, the myths and rumors that are out there, uh, things that uh, you may see as truth, uh, but in fact are myth. And so, uh, most importantly, let's talk about those things uh, which are not magic. So, um, you know, we've talked about uh, the, reducing the limits of people. At first it was 250, then it was 125, it was 50, it was 10. You know, none of these were ever magic numbers. The truth of the matter is, you're going to reduce your risk by reducing the amount of people that you're around. And in particular, the, the number of strangers that you're around. So that, that's, that's issue number one. Number two is, um, the, the, when we talk about testing, that testing doesn't necessarily result, result in a higher level of medical care. That's not why we're testing right now. When somebody gets a test for this virus, what we're looking for is, are they positive? And if they're positive, going back and talking with all the people that they had contact with so that we can limit the spread of the virus. And so what's happened it, it was in the beginning, we had very limited number of tests. And then we got some private labs working in different parts of the country. And then as the private labs came on time, that came online, then what happened was there were a lot of tests that were going to them. And so a lot of the labs right now are running anywhere from five to seven. Um, we heard this morning one particular lab is running maybe as many as 10 days behind. So we, we don't want you to get too wrapped up in whether there is community testing, drive-through testing, testing at the hospitals, testing at the county. There is sufficient testing for those that are the highest risk patients. For everybody else, if you call your doctor and you're sick out of a um, concern, your doctor will more than likely tell you, act as if you have the virus, isolate yourself for 14 days because that's the safest thing you can do. And we're seeing actually a number of cases right now where people are going to the emergency rooms, they're very sick, and when we run a strep throat test on them, it comes back positive. A flu test, it comes back positive. And so there's more things that our residents are facing today than just that particular virus. And at the end of the day, it gets back to where we started with this. And the best things that you can do is wash your hands, keep your social separation. If you're sick, stay home. If you work with a sick employee, tell them to go home. And if you're at home and you have people that are sick, you can even isolate them to other bedrooms Make sure that you're sanitizing countertops. You know, do the very things that the CDC and the World Health Organization has been telling you for weeks. So with that, uh, I will hand this show over to uh, our library director, Manya Shore. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Hi, everyone. I am so happy to be with you here tonight. I would like to lead us into the weekend telling you about everything that the Fort Worth Public Library is doing to keep you educated, informed, and busy, especially if you are home with your families, with your kids, uh, and you're just not sure what to do with yourself. Before I get into that, I do want to mention that all libraries and all community centers in Fort Worth will now be closed through at least April 5th. That is a week longer than we initially thought, and we're doing that because the governor closed all schools in the state through April 3rd. So our new goal is to open all libraries and all community centers on Monday, April 6th. So let's get into it. The library is actively working on figuring out how to get you everything you need without having to come into the physical building. This is the great thing about the library. We have so many resources online and we are adding more every single day. 
You first should know we are working on a plan for curbside service. So if you're part of the majority of people who like the physical book, you like the smell of it and turning the pages, we're working on getting those materials to you sometime in the month of April. However, I want to encourage all of you to think about using an e-reader. I know, if you're not into it, you're not into it. But I promise you, this is my personal Kindle. I promise you, I have 50 books on this Kindle that I got for free from the Fort Worth Public Library. You can get instructions on how to do this yourself by going to fortworthlibrary.org. We have something called the Libby app, which you put on your phone, and it's really easy to get both e-books and e-audiobooks, the ones you listen to, for free from the library. Let's say you don't have a library card. That's okay, as long as you're a resident of the city of Fort Worth. You can get one tonight by going to fortworthlibrary.org. You don't need the physical card and you can start using these resources immediately. Also, I want you to know we are adding more content every single day. We've increased our spending on ebooks, e-audio, and videos by 150% just to get you more content as quickly as we can. And we even added exercise videos, so now you have no excuse not to work out now that the gyms are closed. We have more resources, especially if you have kids in your family. We have homework help on our website. We also have access, if you're a history buff, to 100 years of the Star Telegram archives. You can see what the paper looked like on your birthday, your kid's birthday. There's a lot of things that you can uh, get creative about using the library online databases. If you're not already following us on social media, I encourage you to do so. We are pushing out content for both adults and kids, and it's only going to grow over the next week. Not only are we putting story times up there, we have your favorite librarians reading books to kids, but uh, we're going to have some cooking ideas, we're going to do some live trivia nights, and we're looking into hosting some concerts live from the library, kind of like those concerts you've seen where the musician has no audience. We're going to do that at the library, and you can watch it live. And that's how we're going to highlight our new music library called Amplify 817. Lastly, we want to hear from you. What is it that you are reading? How can we help you stay connected even if you're inside your house? Tag us at hashtag Fort Worth Reads and let us know what you've been working on and what you've been reading. Please use your library. We are here for you through everything and beyond. I appreciate all of you.